What's up guys, KG, Rough To Be Buff TV. We're back with another exercise tutorial. And today we are doing an at home full body workout. You need absolute zero equipment to get this done. All you're gonna need is an interval timer. I got this interval timer uploaded onto my phone. Um, it's set for 12 different sets because we're gonna do 12 different exercises. Each exercise is going to be done for 40 seconds and we're gonna have 20 seconds in between each exercise to transition. Now in that transition, you're gonna to have to pay close attention because I'm going to be teaching and instructing about what we're going to do for that next 40 seconds. So every interval, the exercise will be changing. We're gonna start off with some mobility work just to kind of warm the whole engine up and then we're gonna go right into the workout, okay? So let's get started, good luck, keep up. All right, here we go. Four, three, two. First exercise we're doing is an inchworm. You're gonna to toe touch, guys. Keep your legs locked. Walk yourself out into a push-up position and then just walk yourself right back up. Stand nice and tall, toe touch. Walk yourself out. Remember, trying to keep the legs straight on the way out and on the way up. Nice and tall, <clears throat> toe touch. Walk yourself out, you're an inchworm or a centimeter worm, or um, a meter worm, or a foot worm. Walk yourself out, flatten out, and then stand nice and tall. That 40 seconds is almost up. We got enough time to squeeze in one more. Make it quick. Okay, inchworms are complete. The next thing we're setting up for, stationary Spider-Mans, guys. So you are going to get into a straight arm plank. We're going a big right step shoot your webs and then switch feet big right step low elbow shoot those webs okay we're starting 40 seconds spider-man's big step take your time here you don't have to be in a huge rush we're just trying to kind of mobilize those hips you should feel a pretty big stretch on the back of the hip a little bit in the hamstring this is or some people also call this the world's greatest stretch. With this stretch, you can also add a rotation, but that's completely up to you. All we're trying to do is just grease the hinges here, just trying to mobilize the hips. Oh, nice and low. One of my favorite go-to hip stretches to get you warmed up for my workout. Next thing we're going into, downward dog, glute kickback, okay? So this is a calf stretch, and we're gonna be doing glute kickbacks as well, three per side. Down onto the mat, butts nice and high. A few kickbacks, three, two, one, and then we're switching sides. Three, two, one. We're getting a good calf stretch here while I'm going into glute kickback. Remember, 12 sets. 40 seconds of work. We're just trying to get that glute firing. We're not overextending through our low back. This is also a good opportunity to get your triceps nice and warmed up. Oh, I can already feel my body temperature picking up. Oh. Oh. Downward dog, glute kickback complete. Next thing we're going into are some bootstrappers. You're gonna go into a deep squat. Grab the tips of your toes, and then you're going to lock your knees out. Dip in the hips, eyes are up, and lock your knees out. Dip in the hips, lock out. You can also add a toe raise. Dip the hips, lock out. Dip the hips, lock out. You can add that toe raise if you want. I'll show you. A lateral view, not letting go of the tips of the toes. Dip the hips, lock out, toe raise. Dip the hips, lock out. Dip the hips, just like you're taking a poop in the woods right here. You're not gonna poop on your feet like this. So in case you guys are going camping, this is the exercise you wanna practice. In case you're gonna take a dump in the woods. Bootstrappers, okay. Now that the four mobility workouts are done, the next thing we're going into is a side crawl. We're just gonna be crawling side to side. You do not have to go very far. You're gonna be in a push-up position. And then take your time. Nice, slow side crawl here. 
Oh, my feet sliding on the linoleum floor does not help. It makes the exercise much more difficult. And take your time. Make sure that when you're side crawling, your back is flat, your butt is down, nice and steady. We don't want to have our butt super high in the air. Just side crawl. Don't let those knees touch. Stay with me here. It's only 12 minutes. Oh, nice and steady. Oh, everyone loves a good side crawl. Oh, thank goodness this is over. Thank goodness that's over. Thank goodness that's over. Lunge to rotation. This is much like the Charlie's Angels in my last video. If I step back with my left, I'm gonna rotate to my right. If I step back with my right, I'm going to rotate to my left. Go ahead, get on it. You guys can hear the clock. Step back, deep lunge. Hold the depth of that lunge and don't come up until you finish that rotation, until you finish the rotation in that core. Step back, rotate. I am rotating to whatever the front leg is. Reverse lunge, hands out. Good rotation. Wherever your thumbs go, your eyes go. Deep lunge, rotate. Back to the top. We got time for one more, what the hell? Make it a quick one. Okay, plank taps, plank taps. So you're holding a push-up position. Opposite arm, opposite shoulder. Super simple here. I'll kind of give you guys an angled view. So, basic straight arm plank. Opposite hand, opposite shoulder. The goal here is to keep the hips as still as possible. You don't want the hips to be shifting all crazy. Keep the body super still. Like I'm a statue, nothing is allowed to move. Oh man, these are not easy. I can't believe I make people do this. And then you can practice some holding or you can go super fast. There's really no wrong way as long as those hips are nice and still to the ground. Oh man, oh, three, two, oh that's done, oh that's done. But we're not done yet. Okay, what do we got next? Oh, you need a pillow. Grab a pillow, you don't have much time. You're gonna take that pillow, hike up your shorts. You're gonna reach overhead. Deep overhead squat, so push that pillow to the roof as you get into a deep squat. Reach high, deep squat. So I'm pushing and reaching, I don't wanna have my elbows bent. Lock out the elbows and reach high. As high as you can reach, and get ooh, deep into that squat. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Reach out, this is a tough one to talk and teach. Punching to the roof, your hip crease gets below your knee crease. Hopefully you guys are keeping up. If you didn't have time to grab a pillow, you would just go hands overhead, totally fine. Next thing, oh, Superman's. If you guys have been looking at your phone, playing video games, or staring at your iPad, this is the one you wanna do. Superman is face down, hands overhead. When that clock beeps, I'm going to reach overhead and hold. Drop down and relax. Reach over the head and hold. Drop down and relax. Each repetition, we're gonna hold for about three seconds. You can extend time and do like a a marathon hold, do like a five, eight, or a 10 second. What I don't want to see is your neck like this. Tuck your chin, chin to your chest. Squeeze those glutes and hold. Oh man, this is not a fun one. Reach nice and high and hold. Hold it, go for it, just reach. Don't worry about the time. There's the time, we gotta worry about it. Oh, thank goodness that's done. Not done yet. Push-ups, you guys can either go to your knees and jack out 40 seconds of push-ups or regular push-ups. If you can't do any more reps, you're gonna just hold straight arm plank when you run out of gas. Here we go. 
it would be a good idea to pace yourself. 40 seconds is a long time to be doing push-ups. I think that's seven or eight. Like I said, if you run out of gas, just hold at the top or you can drop down to your knees if need be. Oh, I had to focus on that one. Arm circles, arm circles. This is a simple one. We're gonna take you back to grade school. Hands out like a letter T. Feel the caps of those shoulders. Take a deep breath, because I'm out of it. We're better. It's nice, slow, steady arm circle. 40 seconds of arm circles really suck towards the end. You're focusing on the heads of those shoulders, the caps of those shoulders. Nice and smooth. You can do some small, quick ones. I know they're burning. You can do some big ones, exaggerate, kind of close the chest and open the chest. Try to avoid any clicking or popping. You may have to make smaller circles if that's what's happening. Oh man, they're burning. Oh my gosh. We're almost there. Stay with me. Last thing we're doing are jump squats. Your feet are gonna be together. You're gonna land about shoulder width and then squat. And then once you can get in a good rhythm, together apart, together apart, 40 seconds. This is the last thing we're doing today, guys. Now you can go through this workout one round, which is all we're doing today, two or three, completely up to you. Obviously we're going 40 seconds for everything. If you can't hit 40 seconds, just start with 20, maybe 30. Shoot, it might be five seconds. Everybody's different. It's okay to start at a smaller time as long as you're starting. That's the most important part. You're not sitting around, you're doing something. Make sure the knees stack over the ankles. My legs are burning like crazy. Oh, oh that sucked. Oh, that super sucked. Oh. We're at 12 minutes and 55 seconds. You should be out of breath. I'm out of breath. We're out of breath together. That means we're working. Take those 12 exercises. I'll link them in the description below. Grab your kids, grab your uncles, grab your aunties, your dogs, your pet lizard. Get them out on the floor and working out 12 bodyweight exercises. You time them however you want. I'm KG. This is Rough to Be Buff TV. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, I always do these outros when I'm out of breath. I love you guys. Peace. Oh, oh look at this guy. Must be nice. Must be nice just getting to relax. What a life. Oh, she's a good boy.